Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1969 Seattle Pilots What If Scenario. Today's matchup is between the New York Yankees and the Seattle Pilots at Six Stadium. On the mound for the Yankees today is Al Downing, whose record is 15-12 with a 2.55 ERA. And pitching for the Pilots today is Jerry Stevenson, whose record is 8-7 with a 3.33 ERA. Okay, things couldn't be going any better for us as far as uh, stacking up the wins. Uh, we're 15-5 and five in the month of September, and if you take a look at the standings, this is all you need to know right here, that we are five and a half games up with, what, seven games to go. Is that correct? Yeah, seven games to go. So things are definitely in our favor as far as the odds on winning this division. But we did suffer a injury yesterday that kind of gummed up the works a little bit. John Gelnar, who has been in a rotation now for quite a while, uh, is injured for the rest of the year. He will not even be available for the playoffs. And so we look at our pitching rotation as we try to wrap up the season and remain healthy. My strategy was to take Marty Patton and just put him uh, here at the bottom of the uh, bullpen and forget about him until the playoffs uh, began. But now that we've lost another starter, uh, we've pushed him, you know, we basically skipped him in the rotation and put him in the number two spot. Uh, Stevenson starts today because Gel, uh, Gelnar was number two in the rotation. So Stevenson will start today. Dick Bates will start uh, tomorrow, and if by some chance we can close out uh, the American League West, then for the rest of the uh, final games of the year, we'll just randomly start Schlubby Schlubbersons here. We'll get Bruce uh, Brew Baker in there, uh, Dick Bainey, uh, Bill Edgerton. We'll give them all chances to make starts and uh, save our arms for the playoffs. I think that's the, that's the plan. Um, but so far, things have not gone exactly the way we had hoped. So uh, we may as well play today and see what happens next. Uh, we've got game four against the Yankees at home, and we've got three more games uh, at home versus the Twins. So if we're going to win the division, let's win it at home, celebrate with our 1,500 fans <laughs> that come to each game. Um, yeah, that'll be a really real victory celebration. Okay, hey, before we get started with today's game, don't forget we got this contest going on for uh, Skip Lockwood's autograph photo. There it is right there. We're giving this away. Uh, let's say during the seventh inning stretch of game 162. So that'll be coming up. We have six names already included. Uh, get yours in there if you want. You just got to let me know in the comments. We'll put you on the wheel of fun. The only thing I ask is that you are a subscriber to the channel. Okay, that's not so hard. Let's go ahead and get the game started, as always. I appreciate all you guys following along. Like and or subscribe to the channel. We are facing another left-hander. Um, Freddie Potek is in, uh, listed as tired for back-to-back -back games. We rested him yesterday, and I thought we could stick him back in there today, and he was still listed as tired, but we're going to go ahead and start him. I want to end this today with our... One of our better pitchers, Jerry Stevenson, on the mound. The current Yankees are batting 149 against him. All the bullpen arms are healthy. And here's that lineup versus Al Downing. Freddie Potek is in there. As I mentioned, he is listed as tired. We're going to put uh, Bill Robinson in right field, give him a start today. Uh, Bosch has been useless. Um, Joe Pepitone is left-handed, so it doesn't really work out uh, for us but he, he could be uh, available off the bench. Okay, let's take a look at the lineup rundown for the New York Yankees. Looks like they have one new player uh, getting a start today. Batting leadoff in left field is Tom Chopin. Batting second at second base is Horace Clark. Batting third and catching is Thurman Munson. Batting cleanup playing first base is Tony Soleda. Batting fifth in right field is Bobby Mercer. Batting sixth in center field is Jim Lytle. 
Batting seventh, playing third base, is Rick Joseph. Batting eighth at shortstop is Frank Baker. And batting ninth is the pitcher, Al Downing. Okay, we're giving Jerry Stevenson a shot here, making his 24th start of the year. Eight and seven with that 333 ERA. 147 strikeouts in 162 innings pitched. Opponents are batting 204 against him. No complete games, no shutouts. Fastball topping out at 93 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage right around 40%. He's a two-pitch pitcher, only one really good pitch, that is the screwball. Fastball just below league average, overall rated at 82. The 25-year-old righty goes to arbitration at the end of the season. Looking at his log. Well, he's had a couple starts here recently where he's gone five, but he is um, a big part of us uh, pulling those starters early and getting that bullpen in there. And I think... You know, that's what got us to this point. That's what we're going to keep doing. Okay, so here's our defense today. Uh, solid everywhere, with the exception, of course, at second base. And behind the plate with McNerton. And Tom Chopé leading off against Jerry Stevenson. Let's get a victory here. Get us just a little bit closer to winning the division. Ground ball to second from Chopé. Chopé's got two home runs in this series. This kind of pisses me off a little bit. There's one down as Horace Clark in the number two spot is up next. And a base at the center field. That'll get his average up to 225. Runner on first. Here's Thurman Munson. He's caught all four games. And then Clark is gunned down at second base by Jerry McNerty. He's got a 41% caught stealing uh, percentage on the year. Good job by him. So the bases are empty now. Four jams him inside, popping it up to short. Patek making the catch. All right. We go to the bottom of the first inning. Let's take a look at our lineup for today's ball game. Betting the leadoff, playing center field, is Tommy Agee. Batting second at third base is Rich Rollins. Batting third in left field is Lou Pinella. Batting cleanup, playing first base is Darren Johnson. Batting fifth and catching is Jerry McNerton. Batting sixth in right field is Bill Robinson. Batting seventh at second base is Gary Sutherland. Batting eighth at shortstop is Freddie Butter. And batting ninth is the pitcher Stevenson. Okay, Al Downing is on the mound, one of the many good pitchers in the uh, Yankees rotation, making his 36th start, 15 and 12, and a 255 ERA, 219 strikeouts, and 261 innings pitched. He has walked over 100. Opponents are batting 217 against him. Eight complete games, five shutouts. Wow. Uh, fastball topping out at 89 miles an hour. That is his best pitch, rated at 91. A slider at 83, a couple other secondary pitches. Overall, rated in 87, the 28-year-old left-hander uh, signed an extension through 1974 for 32,500. That is a deal if you're gonna you know, make 36 starts and win 15 games. Let's take a look at his log. He faced us back on September 3rd, and we beat him. Giving us runs, oh, only one earned, so five unearned runs. That'll do it. And that's the only one of record here. Okay, let's take a look at the defense for the Yankees. They have Joseph in there at third, and he's horrible. Making his first start of the year. He is a third baseman, but you wouldn't know it by his rating. Everywhere else is great, so we have... Uh, someone to exploit if we have the opportunity today. Here's Tommy Agee leading off betting 233, 23 home runs. That's a career high in homers. And Agee will take a leadoff walk. Now we know better. I mean, we've learned the hard way um, that Agee's not fast enough to, to beat Thurman Munson. He's been thrown out twice this series. Uh, so we're going to hit and run here with Rich Rollins. 
And the base hit to center field. AG will go to third. And it's first and third. Nobody out. And Lou Pinella at the plate. We will absolutely go back to back hitting and running with Lou. 1-1 one, one count to Pinella. Get down. Get down. That's going to be caught by Mercer. AG will tag and score. Give Pinella an RBI. And it's 1-0 Seattle. Feeling good about it. Runner on first. Darren Johnson. And a base hit. Ripped into left field. Rollins will hold at second base. And it's first and second now with one down. And Jerry McNerney up. McNerney one for ten in his career versus Downing. But he's had such a good year. We could depend on him in these situations. He'll take ball four and load the bases. This is great. I can't believe how well we are doing. This is how I want to get out of the box every game. So McNerney on first for Bill Robinson. Getting a shot here today against his old team. He has one home run as a pilot, and that was in his very first at-bat. So it's been a while. Oh, he strikes out versus Al Downing for out number two. And that will bring up Gary Sutherland, who's in a big slump. He is batting 346 versus lefties, but not lately. Everybody's been getting him out. Fly ball to right, and that'll do it. Oh, what a wasted opportunity. We go to the top of the second inning. Tony Soleda leading off. Leading the team with 25 home runs. And a base hit to right. I feel like all the pitchers have stopped striking out people. Like they've just reached their limit. And no one's capable of striking anyone out anymore. But they'll give up the walk like nothing. Stevenson walks Mercer. It's first and second. Nobody out. We went from like blowing this game wide open to maybe watching our lead go by the wayside. Infield single. We'll load the bases. Yeah, we're in real trouble now. We will pull the infield in since this is, this is uh, Joseph's first at-bat of the season. I mean, he's probably due to hit a grand slam. And Stevenson walks him. Wow. We are in real trouble now. Just like that, man. We were so high on our own supply. Let's pull the infield in. Another infield single? Okay, yeah. So this game's over. <laughs> That's it for this game. When you walk two and give up two infield singles... Uh, yeah, that's that's the end of it for us for this game. So it wasn't meant to be. That's all right. There's the first out of the inning. We got to get a couple innings from Stevenson here. We're, we'll play back this time. Maybe get a double play. I mean, you give up an infield single to a guy batting 135. Chopin goes to third and. Smartly, Rollins goes home with it. All right, well, we could get out of it here. It's Horace Clark. 2-2 Two -two count. Line drive to left. Okay, well, they let us off the hook. It's a 2-1 lead for the Yankees. And uh, with Downing having a 2.55 ERA, I don't project him giving up any more runs. Patek strikes out, as you might expect. Jerry Stevenson pops it up. And Tommy Agee. Flies out to center field. Oh, crap. We go to the bottom of the uh, top of the third with Thurman Munson leading off. Let's hope that was the only issue Stevenson will have today. Try to keep it close. Munson flies out to right center field. I thought that might drop in. Good play by Robinson. 
One down, Tony Soleda, a ground ball to Sutherland. Two quick outs. Be good to have a 1 2 3 inning. And Mercer strikes out. Second K for Stevenson. We go to the bottom of the third. 2 1 Yankees. Rich Raw leading off. Rollins is 3 for 7 with a walk in his career versus Downing. And now he's struck out for the second time. Yeah, this is this is uh, going to be all down in here for a while. Oh, maybe pinella has got other designs. Should we go for two? I mean, I don't think you run on Bobby Mercer. I'm going to say no. we got to let our big bats eat. Here's Darren Johnson. He's got 17 home runs. Strikes out. Jesus. All right. Two down, and McNurtney. Pops up. Shoot. This does not look good. We go to the top of the fourth. Here's Jim Lytle leading off. 2-1 count to Lytle. And he had a home run. That is Lytle's sixth home run on the season. The Yankees are a good team. I guess I should not have expected to actually sweep them. Um, it would just be nice to get to get it over with, right? So we can rest some players. There's one out. Joseph flies to right. Frank Baker had a 135 average and got an infield single. There he hits a ground out and downing. Just doubles into the gap, of course. Exactly what would happen in real life. That is Downing's fourth double of the year. Tom Chopin. A comebacker to Stevenson. And he gets him out. So the double is stranded at second. And we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Here's Bill Robinson. Striking out with the bases loaded. That probably killed us today. Striking out with nobody on base. I guess it's all the same. And Gary Sutherland coming through with the base hit. Trying to keep that average above 300. He would be second in the American League right now behind Yastrzemski in batting average if he, um, uh, if he had enough at-bats to qualify. Sorry, I stuttered there for a minute as I was thinking about whether or not I should lay down a bunt and then pinch hit for Stevenson. And I think that's what I'll try to do since Patek is tired and seems incapable of anything. Joseph somehow makes the play on that bunt despite being rated a 67. Sutherland does go to second. We'll, we'll take out Stevenson. And we will bring in seems weird but we're gonna bring in Jerry May Jerry May is batting 412 what the hell man there we go batting 442 versus left-handers this is the guy you want up if you want to drive in a run here 1-1 one, one count and a ground ball to yeah, it's just not going to be our day. All right. So we need a new pitcher. Let's bring in Dick Bainey. Um, if we're going to use him as a starter, we probably should try to give him a, some PT here. He's going to face Horace Clark, Munson, and Soleda. Pulls out that sidearm curve. Oh, that was a fastball. Fly ball to right, one down. Here is Thurman Munson. Munson, hard hit, ground ball to second. Gary Sutherland tossing him out for out number two. And now we got the lefties coming up. It's Tony Soleda. And a ground ball to second. Oh, good job by Bainey, that'll get you another inning. Bottom of the fifth, here's Tommy Agee. 
popping it up near home plate. One down. Rich Rolls up next. And a base hit. Let's be off the wall. Maybe a double. Maybe a triple. Yes. Good hustle by Rollins. Fifth triple on the year. We are going to go on contact. And um, Pinella, a great contact hitter. So he puts the ball in play on the ground, and a run should score. One, two count, and he strikes out. God bless it. I mean, that's, that's how you know you're going to lose. They just don't let you do it. They walk Johnson to get to McNerty. McNerty is clutch. Let's see if he's got the clutch gene working for him today. Nope. God bless it. Unbelievable. We get a triple and we can't convert. Top of the sixth inning. We'll let Dick Bainey pitch one more here. 2-2 two -two count to Mercer. And it's a third play to second since Bainey's come in. One out. That looked like ball four. Jim Lytle is waiting for it. Pulls it into right field for a base hit. One down. And a strikeout of Rick Joseph for out number two. And Frank Baker. A comebacker to Bainey. And there's out number three. Going to the bottom of the sixth. Bill Robinson leading off. He's over two with two strikeouts today. Oh, man, what a piece of garbage. Oh, there's a base hit right. I thought he was going to strike out. I thought he was going to. He was 0-2. Well, we're going to hit and run. This is not a good call. we got to stay on the double play. we got to get things moving. Ground ball. That'll get Robinson over. Let's see if Podtex got something for him. 1-0 count. The line drive to center. That'll get Robinson to third. And the pitcher spot. Which we will... Pinch hit for, uh, I guess, Wayne Comer. And will he strike out? Yep. Okay. Oh, no, ground ball to short. Bring in another pitcher. That's a good job by Bainey. Um, we got a righty. Oh, and then a couple switches. So, um, we'll bring in John Morris. I'm, I'm making these decisions based on the pitchers that I I don't want to use because we're probably we're not going to win this ball game. So let's just try to get some of the other guys in there. John Morris facing the pitcher. And he strikes him out, as he should. Wait, is his strikeout and walks equal to each other yet? Yes, they are. 28 walks and 28 strikeouts. He's been really good, actually, since he came back uh, with the September call-up. So good job by him. He went down, did something. Ground ball to short from Chope. Two outs. Horace Clark's going to turn around, bat right-handed. Ground ball to third. J-Mo getting it done. We're going to the bottom of the seventh. Let's take a look at the in-game stats. Not a lot to see here. A.G. 0 for 2 with a walk. And a base at the center field. We got the leadoff guy on. Do we want to go for 2? I mean... No? No, we can't, right? No. Because we have, we have good hitters coming up. Rich Rollins hitting and running. He's 4 for 9 in his career. Versus Downing. 1-0 count. And a base into center. Come on, AJ, get to third. How can you not go to third on a hit and run? Again, these are all the signs that the game gives you um, that you're not going to win the ball game. So we have to let Pinella swing away. This is a double play waiting to happen. 
or a strikeout, I guess. You know, a double play to third, though. Yeah, a double play with a guy with a 67 rating. What a bunch of crap. Yep, and then Johnson strikes out. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't matter. This game will screw you over in these types of situations. I guess we'll get Brew Baker in there. Um, give him a couple innings, considering we're going to have to probably start him at some point. Another pitcher uh, that has actually been okay since we called him back up, but he was wearing the stank out. I'm watching the fly balls go into the uh, outfield. Yeah, there's an error. So, strike out. Hit. Yeah, he'll go to third. We can't have a guy go to third and a uh, base hit in the center field, but Bobby Mercer, or Thurman Munson, the catcher with a 69. We'll pull the infield in. I mean, we got to try, right? Nope. That's four to one. So the error comes back to haunt us. Base hit to left. It's five to one. Ground ball to short. Another error. Yep. I just guessed. <laughs> and it happened. Second error by Patek this inning. Infield in with the pitcher. So the game will probably give us one or two more runs. Um, that's kind of what it does. Let's see if that happens. It'll give us some junk runs. Bill Robinson gets a hit. He's got two hits after really screwing us over there in the first inning. Gary Sutherland flies out. Freddie Podtek. Well, he's going to gap it. That'll be one run in. So they do give us one. Oh, oh my God. With two down, how does he not score? Oh, because they were trying to get to the pitcher. That's why the game did that. Okay, well. Uh, well I guess it's Danny Walton. I'd like to get Danny Walton some more at-bats. Yeah, then he strikes out, of course. I would like to get Danny Walton a few more at-bats. He might actually be uh, in, you know, on the team out of spring training next year. Okay, um... What other punks can we get into? I guess we get Bill Edgerton in there. It's been pretty bad. But this is the time to use him. Ground ball. Pop up from Munson. And Tony Soleda. Yeah. Bottom of the ninth inning. This is it. Well, they walk the leadoff guy. Uh, maybe they will give this a run. I mean, there's no point in hitting and running. We'll just play it out. We get on, we get on. We don't, we don't. Yeah, I knew they were going to give us a couple runs. Rich Rollins, the only player on the team hitting home runs right now. He's four for five today. That is his eighth home run, and that is his third home run in the last ten games. So we're going to bring in Steve Hamilton. He is their closer. He's a lefty closer. Nobody out. And we're going to go down right in order here. Johnson pops out, and it's down to McNerney. McNerney over three with a walk today, and there's out number three. So we lose that game five to three. I mean, we were never in that game. Uh, once the second inning hit, it was over. Uh, we had to lose. Now let's see if 
Oakland lost. Or are they going to make it? Oh, uh, they are. And Minnesota won too. What a coincidence, right? Um, Baltimore won and Cleveland lost, so they're four and a half back. So four and a half with six games to go. I mean, <laughs> and we are losing our pitchers left and right. Um, man, that's, I'm, I know that the odds are way in our favor, but it's still scary to think about. Uh, San Diego's lost four in a row. It's looking more and more like Don T is going to be the winner of the uh, Dave Roberts uh, autographed tops contract. Uh, that's... That's interesting. Let's take a look at the headline news. There is something. Orioles expand their lead. Uh, they beat the White Sox. Yeah. Um, okay, what else we got here? Minnesota moves to four and a half games. They beat the Indians. Oh, that's how that happened. Um, Bloomington. I thought it was Minneapolis, St. Paul. But did, was the stadium in Bloomington back then? I don't know. Uh, all right, transactions. Yep, just there's our Johnny Gelnar. Okay, let's pull up the box score and get out of here. Player of the game uh, definitely is Rich Rollins. Four for five. He had a home run. Uh, that was at least two RBI, but, you know, it, it didn't mean anything. Uh, we stranded 11 base runners. Patek made the two errors. He had the double. Still couldn't score the run on that double, though. Yeah, this was just never going to happen for us today, unfortunately. Uh, Rollins, player of the game. S Jerry Stevenson takes a loss. Our bullpen. I mean, I mean, if Brubaker hadn't given up those runs, but it was the Patek error that started out that inning, and then it went just right downhill after that. Uh, and all the um, infield singles there in the second inning against Stevenson. It's just just never going to happen. Uh, Al Downing gets the win. He's 16-12. and 12. Steve, uh, Hamilton uh, gets a 20, uh, his 27th save. So that will do it. All we can do is come back tomorrow and play the Twins. Even if they swept us, they would still not be in first place. So we could, I mean, you know, and we're at home. So we're, we're due to win that ball, one of those ball games for sure. That's going to do it. We'll come back tomorrow play another game. Until then, everyone have a great day.